What's going on, your Brapaholics? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so we are going to be here reviewing these Kemimoto fender flares for a KM Defender. So right now, I, right here, I have a Can-Am Defender HD10 XT. Um, these fender flares should fit just about any Defender out there because they're all the same body style, minus the 6x6, so these will not go on the 6x6. So minus the, the, the DeWalt stuff, this right here is what you will receive. So you got six pieces. You got one fender flare for the front, and then you got two pieces of this. They go in the rear. Um, that way, it, it's got a sharp bend. So initial impressions, um, so these are, Roughly three, two to three inches wide of fender flare, um, which is, which I think is gonna be plenty, especially if you're running stocks. Uh, plenty of fenders. These are definitely a bendy plastic material, um, which is good, especially if you're gonna be rubbing up against trees or whatever's in your way. Um, so these, you don't, I don't expect these breaking very fast um, compared to this type of plastic. It's a very hard plastic. Um, you run into something with this plastic, you are definitely going to bust it. But these are for protecting you from mud, not, they're not going to protect you from rubbing up on things, so I don't expect these to protect you very much at all. But these are designed for protecting you from mud and debris flying up from the, from the tires. So this is, this is the initial look of it. Um, you will have to drill holes for these. Um, k and does have little marks on their plastics. Uh, for fender flares so so luckily all you gotta do is just kind of drill through all these um, you will have to drill a hole into this part of the plastic um, you can't do nothing about that it's just the way they design these so you will need to do some drilling um, you will need your own tools for that you will need your own drill bits also when I got this it did not come with any instructions I had to look it up on the internet because I wanted to make sure I was doing this properly I probably could have figured it out um, I didn't know the instructions, when I looked up the instructions, it did say there are these, these little dots here. Well, I would not have noticed them uh, if I didn't look up the instructions. So, um, so be aware if you do get these, you probably won't get instructions with them. They do have them, they just didn't send me any. So I don't know if you may or may not get some. So they are they are available on the internet. As you can see it right there, so there there's a dot there, there's a dot there, there's a dot, there's a dot there. So that's going to be all our drill points. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the drill bit they recommend, which they're recommending a three millimeter, which is very small. Uh, they have self tapper screws to put in these. Um, so I'm going to do all these, and then for this one, once it's once this is all aligned and tightened down, then I'll drill this one. That way I don't accidentally screw up my hole on that one. Um, so you do have to drill a hole somewhere right here for this front fender. And then we'll get to the back. We'll get to the rears here. Uh, same thing. You do have dots here. All right, so we're gonna start installing this thing, and then we'll put it to the test and see how we like these. Okay, so we just got the front fenders done. Very easy, very simple. Uh, you know, it actually looks pretty good. Um, I was originally going to do this in an HD8. One of my good buddies has an HD10, so we're putting them on this. Uh, I believe the chassis is all the same. Um, I was a little scared that it was going to look too wide. But it actually don't look too. It actually doesn't look bad. Um, so if you so if you even had bigger tires, this would look even better, I think.
Okay, so I got this side done finally. Um, everything was going good until I got to this piece. Uh, not sure why it's like this. If it was me, I would have kept the same bullet. I would have kept the same bullet look right here. Um, on this piece, they're hiding bolts and stuff. Um, so behind here, you actually got to bolt this to the plastic, and that was the hard part. Um, for one, the holes that Canon provides you, the the little dots do not match up whatsoever with this piece. So you actually have to mark your own holes. That's pretty tough because the, the, sp the space is very tight. So that took a while. Um, and this piece right here, this bolt right here is different than the rest. They provide you a rubber grommet to put in there and I don't understand why. This, I've never, I don't even know, don't quite understand how it works. There's a little nut in there, I believe. But actually, I think the piece they gave me, uh, it was plugged. It wasn't working right. Um, this one looks a little different. I can actually see through it. Uh, so I think I had a little dud grommet, to be honest. But either way, don't understand what the point of this is. The reason I, I the one reason I, it's, the one reason it's like this is because the frame is right behind this piece of plastic. But if you had a short enough self-tapping screw, you can just, screw right into the plastic like normal. So that's what I would have done, and actually, that's actually what I did right here, because this wasn't working very good. So I'm gonna do that on the other side. Hopefully this way, hopefully this one's way easier. This side went together way better. Uh, for one, there's no gas tank on this side, and I kinda know what I'm doing now. Um, but, yeah, same thing. Just had to bolt, bolt it through and put it on. So I think instead of, I think this would be a half hour job if we didn't have to bolt that on. So I, in the future, if you do change that, that will help if, if you screw it on like the rest of it and get the same bullet look. Um, just my opinion though. Uh, but either way, we got them all on, so now we're gonna go put it to the test and see how much mud we can not get covered in. So uh, let's get to it. All right, I'm not used to have, driving such a long limo. So we we got we've we've gotten rain for the last week. Today's actually the first dry, sunny day we've had since then. Um, so we have clay fields, so it should be fairly muddy uh, right now. But the sun is hot, so. It will, it won't take too long for us to dry up, so let's see if we can find some good mud. This is 
mud. say these are stopping 90% of the mud which is you know really good First time I've actually driven a 1000 Defender. Um, I've been I drove the 800 previously. I would say this has way more giddy up than the 800. Obviously, it's a bigger engine. Um, the riding the riding ability is about the same, but uh, yeah, this thing this thing's got some giddy up. I'm not gonna deny that at all for being as big as it is. So here's the damage. Um, as you can see, most of the mud went right here. Most of the mud was in this area, but you know, that helped a lot. And there's very minimal mud right here, very minimal. And then back here, you got a little mud splash right here. It may have maybe seeped up through that hole right there, or it was just a splash from somewhere, because I did hit one pretty hard. But yeah, it's doing its job. I mean, can't complain too much. I can't complain at all about about it and it you know it doesn't look bad i thought it was gonna look a little weird um being a little extra wider but you know what it's really not that bad so yeah i would say good job i mean they're very it's very durable um you want it to bend like that if you you know bump into something so um you can see there's some mud seepage through there so i don't i mean it's not perfect but you know good enough you're not you're riding these to be off road so you're not going to stay on 100 percent clean and dry if it's if you're definitely in very muddy areas you know something like this would be really nice to have um with stock tires though is it necessary i would say no but if you're running bigger or oversized tires i would recommend these uh, big time especially if you're running the bigger tires um it's just the bigger tires are just gonna you know they stick out wider it's just the way it is but um yeah highly recommend it thank you kemimoto for sending these to me um this is what i think about them and i highly recommend them they're very reasonable priced and they'll fit all the defenders minus the six by six um just go on the website and just make sure that this is compatible with your defender uh but um that being said thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like and subscribe you can follow me on instagram uh facebook I have a podcast available and uh, there'll be a link down below if you guys are interested in these. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.